Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. If your speakers aren't working, it could be a number of things. It might not have any power, it might be blown, or it might just have a really bad connection. So I'll go through all three with you, and then we'll try and get it solved as to why your speaker isn't working. So if you've got a factory unit installed in your car, then normally they limit the amount of volume that can go to the speakers to prevent you from blowing them. But um, if you've got an aftermarket radio like this one, um, or you've got an amplifier going to your speakers and you turn the volume up too high, if it's not tuned properly, then you will run the risk of blowing the speakers. So that's just one thing that you could think about. Another thing, if you open the door, the wires here, these are my wires that go to my speaker. Every period of time where you're opening and closing the door, those wires become like brittle and they sort of like lose their connection. So you could try opening and closing the door and if the speaker works and then doesn't work and works and doesn't work it might have a, a bad connection here in the hinge area of the door so that's another thing to look out for if that's the case then you probably want to take it to a car audio shop and just let them know that that's the problem and they can replace that bit of wire if you feel like you can do it yourself then give it a go i've done it myself these are the wires that run direct from my amplifier run all along the door seals all the way to the boot where the amp is and they go up into each speaker and all the doors so that's one thing if it's got no power i'll check on your if you've got an amp i'll check the fuse on the amp make sure that's actually intact if not then i suggest taking the whole door card off and seeing if the See if the connections are actually connected to the speaker, like spade terminals, probably. So that might be another thing. But I'm going to take off my door card on the rear because that speaker's got a crackly sort of thing going on. And we'll try and suss out what's going on there because I'm not really sure what's going on. So most door cards will have like some trim on them that you're going to have to remove to get access to the screws. In my case, it's just this plastic bit here that I've got to pry off. And there should be like a screw or something torque screw maybe behind there and underneath just there there's a t20 torque screw that i've got undo to get to the door card so i've just removed that little t20 torque screw from the bottom with my trusty pink screwdriver and then i've just put my nails under here and just prized this bit of plastic off should just pop up all the all the way up there you go so you've got a probably a T30, there's two of them, undo them, and I think that's the only two, unless there's another one on this side, no, so there's two T30s I think, screws, and a T20 at the bottom. Okay, so I used the T30 torque screw, and I managed to undo these, good, where'd it go, on there, Another one there. Now the door card is clipped on as well, so you have to unclip that. You just pull it towards you, and then you're gonna to have to lift it up. Right, so we're taking the door card off. It's got six poppers. One, two, three, four, five, six. You just pull them towards you, and it just pops off. And then this little connection is for the electric window, so you just unpop that, and then. You also need to unhook the door lever. It's pretty simple, really. It's pretty self-explanatory. Can't see anything physically wrong with this. I do have a speaker baffle on there. It's a sponge-like cup. It sits behind the speaker, protects it from any water that might like fall down in behind when you put window down if it's raining. But I think. Speaker baffles are alright, but they restrict a lot of the airflow which you sort of need to produce the sound. So I'm tempted to cut the bottom of the baffle off to let some airflow, and it's still going to be protected from above for any like water that might hit it, but should be alright. So I've undone the speaker. Connections on the back look fine, they're still soldered on. Cable looks all right, and there's no sign of any water in there. What I'm going to do is 
tight little pocket in the baffle so the air can flow a bit better. Some people might be against it, but I reckon it might be a good idea. And another way to test if the speaker's blown, just lightly press on it, and if you can hear it crunch, I can't hear anything, so I think it's fine. But a lot of speakers, once they're blown, the coil will become a bit like, like crusty almost. When you press the cone in, you'll hear like <coughs> That way you know the speaker's pretty much had it. Someone's obviously played it too loud or put too much power through it and it's just not worked. So there are the three main things I can suggest as to why your speaker's not working. Um, no power from the amp or your head unit. The wires here might be broken from opening and closing the door too much. Or if you press the cone in and out, it's going to be blown because it sounds crusty and the coil's packed up. So, hope that helps. If you want to carry on watching, then I'm just going to go through and make a hole in this. Should be good. If not, please like and subscribe and um, keep watching my other videos. There's loads of different car ones on there and I'll just make one every so often. So, hope you like it. Cheers. So now I'm gonna cut a hole with a standing knife in the back of here. I don't know how big to do it. I might just slice half the cup or like a third of the cup off. So it should let a bit more air flow a bit easier. Right, I can't do it with a phone in my hand, so I'm gonna put a phone down and show you once I've done it. So that's basically what I've done. I've sort of left the main like rim around the speaker, so it's still got a nice seal against the MDF. And then cut a little like half moon, basically. So the speaker can sort of breathe a bit more and hopefully the sound will be a bit better. I think baffles are right. If you want like a nice tight sound for like, I don't know, rock music probably, but I listen to a lot of different music, so it'd be nice to have a bit of an air gap there, just to let it breathe. Hopefully it won't cause too much like rattling through the actual door itself, because now it's got a bit more room to breathe for this white rattle. I know you can get a lot of like sound deadening stuff that you like roll on and all that, but I don't plan to keep my car much longer, so I'm gonna install this and see what it sounds like. Another thing to look out for when installing the speakers is when you're about to screw these screws back in, be careful not to slip because as soon as you slip, your screwdriver is going straight through that and then your £100 set of speakers is going to be ruined. You could fix it, but it's not going to be the same. So I'll just be very careful when you're doing this. Maybe put your fingers around here and make sure I don't slip away from the screw head or just leave it to the professionals and take it to an audio shop. So I'm gonna put these four screws back in and give it a little demo, see what it sounds like. If you like these speakers, I'll put a link to them in the description down below, an Amazon link. They're a 6.5 inch coax speaker with a little tweeter on top. In the front, I've got, oh, they turn like this as well, so you can direct the tweeter to wherever you're sat. Um, if you want components, I've got same Hertz speakers up front, um, but the components version. So the tweet is separate and you've got your own little like box that divides the sound out equally between the mid-range and the tweeter. You could put subwoofers in here. These are good for mid-range, not so much bass. So if you want a bit of bass, if you like bass, don't get these, but you could put a sub in and then you'll be sorted. So other than that, they go pretty loud and they're good value for money. I think these were 140 for the pair, and I think the front ones were 170 for the pair. Obviously, component speakers are a bit better quality where they got the little box to help divvy the sound out. So, all right, I'm going to put this all back together. I think I've screwed it up tight enough. And then I'm going to give it a little demo, see what it sounds like. If it sounds good, I might do it to the other speakers, but if it don't sound any different, it might just be a small difference. I probably won't bother because I'll probably end up selling this car soon anyway. But at least it'd be good for the next person. Um, best way to get these door cards back on as well is start from the top. So tilt it towards you and put the top in first. 
slide it down onto the runner, make sure it's nice and snug up against the window, and then and then push it in for the little clippers around the sides. The amount of times I've like messed around with these door cards, I think that's like the best way to do it. Start at the top, tilt it towards you a bit, start at the top, clip it in. Give it a good old wacky wacky. Should hurt a clip around the edges. And that is pretty much that. Then you can just put those other bits and bobs back into your hair and a little screw into your hair and then Bob's your uncle, Fanny's your aunt. Right, I've switched over to my GoPro for this bit so I can play some royalty free music for you out my phone and through Bluetooth. I can't play you any other music because it won't be copyright, blah, 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 blah. Um, so if we go to my speakers, I can turn the volume up a bit. Left speaker. Right speaker. Oh. It's quite a bit of different actually. Left speaker. Turn it down a bit. Left speaker. Sounds quite quiet actually. Once I've created that hole in the um, baffle, the amount of bass that comes out of it is a, quite a big improvement. I'll try and find a different song. Okay, I've got some funky jazz stuff going. Let's put it back to where it... Okay, I think I might go and do the same thing to all my baffles, but first I'm gonna get some lunch because I am hungry and I'm sweating in here as well. It's so hot. Black leather and in the sun is not good. But basically, I think cutting that little hole in that baffle has transformed these speakers by like more than a hundred percent. It sounds so much better without the baffle being sealed off completely. I'm gonna leave this video here. So oh, sweaty. Right, like and subscribe. And I'll see you in the next video, basically. Cheers. Bye.